Welcome to the Use and Care instructional video for the ElectroMist 4B Electrostatic Sprayer. Before you use the ElectroMist 4B, read and fully understand the operation manual. Do not use flammable liquids in the ElectroMist 4B. Do not use this product in a hazardous environment containing volatile chemicals or in any area containing volatile or explosive levels of gas, vapor, or particulates. Do not touch the spray tip during use. Do not operate the machine without the spray tip guard in place. Do not spray yourself or other people with the ElectroMist 4B. After spraying, allow the charge to dissipate by waiting 30 seconds before reaching into the solution tank. Always wear the proper protective equipment according to the chemical manufacturer's instructions and safety data sheet. Always follow the chemical manufacturer's instructions regarding application, dilution, coverage, and contact time. Always wear protective gloves, minimum 20 mil thickness. To unpack the machine, start by cutting the tape at the top of the box and carefully removing the staples. Remove the operation manual. Notice that there is a 70 micron tip inside the bag with the operation manual. Remove the spray wand carton and hose carton. Carefully open the wand carton. Be careful not to cut into the spray wand. Remove the protective wrap around the spray wand. As you remove the protective wrap, do not cut the foam grip on the spray wand. Carefully open the hose carton. Be careful not to damage the hose or charging cord as you remove the packaging. Remove the foam inserts from the carton. Tilt the carton on its side so that the handle is towards the floor. Roll the machine out of the carton. Remove the protective bag. Tilt the machine backwards and remove the cardboard tray. Notice that one end of the hose has a longer cable than the other. The side with the longer cable attaches to the spray wand. The other side attaches to the machine. Put the hose and cable through the strain relief on the front of the machine. Attach the cable to the machine by lining up the slot on the machine with the key on the cable. Push the cable into the connector and tighten it by turning it clockwise. Tighten by hand. Do not use tools. Over-tightening this connection can damage the machine. Connect the hose to the machine by pushing the hose into the quick disconnect until it clicks into place. Connect the cable to the wand by aligning the slot on the cable with the key on the wand. Tighten the connection by turning the nut clockwise. Tighten by hand. Do not use a tool. Over-tightening this connection can damage the machine. Connect the quick disconnect on the hose to the wand. Slide the cover over the quick disconnect. Remove the switch guard from the power switch. To protect the machine during shipping, the factory uses a non-toxic RV grade of antifreeze. Put one quart of water in the machine and spray into a drain until empty to flush the antifreeze from the machine. Charge the ElectroMist 4B before the first use. To charge the machine, connect the charger cord to the machine and then plug the charger cord into the wall. Charging is complete when the green light over the full battery symbol is lit. Allow up to 12 hours to fully charge the machine. Follow the chemical manufacturer's label when preparing disinfectant solution. The ElectroMist 4B has gallon markings on the front of the tank to help you prepare the solution. If using dissolving tablets, make sure the screen is at the bottom of the tank before adding tablets to the tank. Wait until the tablets are fully dissolved before using the machine. Pull the trigger on the spray wand to spray solution. 
There is a button on the side of the wand that will lock the trigger in the on position. Pull the trigger again to release the lock. For best results, spray 2 to 3 feet from the surface. Spray the surface to ensure visible wetness for the desired contact time. If spraying a disinfectant, be sure to follow the chemical manufacturer's instructions regarding dilution, coverage, and contact time. The Electromist 4B is delivered with a 100 micron spray tip installed. A 70 micron spray tip is included with the operation manual. To reduce the output of the Electromist 4B, replace the 100 micron spray tip with the 70 micron spray tip. To replace the spray tip, remove the retaining screw from the spray tip guard and set the guard to the side. Use an 11 16 inch wrench to hold the spray fitting securely. Use a 13 16 inch wrench to loosen the spray tip hardware. Remove the spray tip and replace it with the desired size. Note that there is a filter inside the spray tip fitting. If flow rate of the sprayer is too low, clean this filter and the spray tip using mild soapy water. Reassemble the spray tip. The opening in the spray tip should be vertical. Hold the spray tip fitting secure with the 11 16th inch wrench. Tighten the spray tip hardware with the 13 16th inch wrench. Replace the spray tip guard and retaining screw. There is a strainer on the back of the machine. If the sprayer flow rate is too low or the strainer appears dirty, clean the screen. Close the valve next to the strainer. Clean the bowl and screen using mild soapy water. After cleaning, place the screen back in the bowl and tighten the bowl on the fitting. Open the valve next to the strainer. Dry the area around the strainer. Each day, before storing the machine, drain the solution tank and purge the solution line. This step is important to prevent chemicals from accumulating in the hoses, causing blockages. If the hoses become blocked, they will need to be replaced. Drain the chemical solution from the machine and dispose of it according to your local regulations. If storing the solution, make sure the storage bottle is properly labeled. Fill the solution tank with about a gallon of water and spray the wand to clear the line. If you are using the 9-foot hose, spray the wand for one minute to clear the line. If you are using the 50-foot hose, spray the wand for five minutes to clear the line. Drain the remaining water from the solution tank and remove the lid. Allow the tank to air dry. To replace the battery, carefully tip an empty machine on its side opposite the wand holster. Remove the grounding plate using a 7 16 wrench. Lift the machine to an upright position. Remove the two bolts in the rear of the machine that hold the handle in place. Note that the top bolt has a washer. Lift the tank assembly to reveal the quick disconnect at the bottom of the tank. Press the button on the quick disconnect to release the hose from the tank. Pull upward on the handle and tank assembly to remove it from the machine. Remove screws from the four corners of the top cover. Remove the top cover plate. To remove the battery, you will need a socket wrench with a 20-inch extension and a 7 16 inch socket. The battery is held in place by a strap secured by two bolts. Remove the bolts on the battery strap. Remove the strap and rubber pad from the machine. Pull the wires from the red and black terminals on the battery.
Gently pull the hoses toward the side of the machine with one hand and remove the battery with the other hand. Install the new battery by moving the hoses towards the edge of the machine and inserting the battery into place. Place the battery so that the terminals are closest to the side of the machine. Leave about a half inch gap between the battery and the side of the machine. Attach the red wire to the red battery terminal and attach the black wire to the black battery terminal. Combine the rubber pad with the battery strap and place it in the machine over the battery. Align the holes in the strap with the threaded holes in the bottom of the machine. Reinstall the bolts into the strap, securing the battery in place. Replace the top cover. Install the handle and tank assembly. Reconnect the hose to the bottom of the tank. Replace the bolts in the back of the machine. Note that the bolt on the top has a washer. Carefully tip the machine onto its side, opposite the wand holster. Replace the grounding plate. Note that the eyelets on the cables attached to the grounding plate are pointing away from the installer. Attach each of the eyelets to the machine. Orient the eyelets so that the one in front is pointing to the front of the machine and the one in back is pointing to the back of the machine. Tighten the hardware to secure the eyelets to the machine. Lift the machine into an upright position. Charge the newly installed battery before use. Disconnect the wand from the machine before servicing the wand. Remove the hand grip by pulling back on the grip to expose the copper tape beneath. Be careful to remove the grip in such a way that the copper tape remains adhered to the wand. Remove the spray tip guard. Turn the wand over and remove the screws using a Torx T25 screwdriver. Carefully remove the gasket and inspect it for damage. If the gasket is damaged, replace it. After servicing the wand, examine the adhesive-backed copper tape. The end of the copper tape must be adhered to the metal box on the circuit board. If the copper tape is damaged, replace it. Reinstall the gasket, placing it over each of the screw holes. Reinstall the top cover. As you put on the top cover, make sure the gasket stays in place. Reinstall the screws in the wand. Install the middle screw first. Install the screws from the middle out, installing the screws at the ends last. Leave all the screws somewhat loose until they are all installed. Once all the screws are installed, tighten each screw until it is snug.
Reinstall the spray tip guard. Note that the guard has multiple holes. If the previously used hole is too worn to install properly, rotate the spray tip guard to use an undamaged hole. Reinstall the hand grip. First peel off the paper on the back of the grip. Next, place the grip such that the copper tape is secured. Wrap the grip around the wand and firmly press the grip onto the wand. Thank you for watching this video. If you need additional support, please contact our technical service department by calling 800-261-3499.